brought to you through the regional support of First Five Fresno County, First Five Tulare County, and First Five Madera County. Because it's all about the kids. Hello, I'm Winita Stevenson. Welcome to Zero to Five in 30 Minutes. If a baby is born prematurely, you'll want to pay attention to their eyes. They are at higher risk for vision problems. Today, you'll hear about a little girl named Gloria whose sight was affected in this way, but you'll find her view of the world is quite vivid. Here I go. From riding a bike. Whee! To playing the harmonica. Little Gloria Martinez loves a new challenge. And anything that comes her way, she's, she's up for it, you know. Anyone that comes to her, she's up to meeting them and talking to them. To watch her, it wouldn't be initially clear that Gloria can't see. She has retinopathy of prematurity, also known as ROP. It's a disease of the eye that only affects premature babies. I had her preemie uh, two, two months early. She was born 32 weeks. ROP can be mild and may resolve on its own. However, severe cases can result in scarring and retinal detachment and lead to blindness. Went to the eye specialist, doctor looked at her and found out that her both, both her retinas were detached completely. Um, didn't know anything, you know, didn't know why we were there. All of a sudden, your daughter's blind, you know, so it's, it was hard. It was hard. It was heartbreaking. Dr. David Sign is with the Korea Delta Exeter Health Clinic, where he is the medical director of the pediatrics program. He is not Gloria's doctor, but has attended to many children who were born prematurely. He says oxygen therapy used to treat the immature lungs of preemies can be a factor with ROP. The problem is, is that premature infants oftentimes need a ventilator or need a lot of oxygen. Um, because they have problems with their lungs. So the premature nature of their lungs leads to a need for oxygen. The problem with the oxygen is it can actually damage the um, formation of the retina. It's crucial to get follow-up eye exams, especially when your child is a preemie, something that was not immediately clear to first-time parents, Francis and Chris. I had no idea. Um, went in for her six-week checkup, and that's when the doctor said, you know, I'm going to schedule an appointment with an eye specialist. So didn't think anything of it. He didn't mention, you know, there's any problems going on. You know, we didn't ask any questions. So when that team came for her appointment, um, we didn't stress to go to it. We weren't able to make it. So I rescheduled her another appointment. And then, um, so we finally went to that appointment. And that's when um, doctor let us know that, um, that she was in stage five of ROP. Gloria underwent surgery on both eyes just a couple of days after the diagnosis. Yeah, everything was successful. Um, he did save the eyes. And, um, you know, after the years, her eyes have progressed just, you know, not as we hoped for, but, you know, some, which is, you know, she's got, um, she's got light perception, means she could tell the light from the dark. Um, shadows, some shadows. Early detection is key in preventing vision problems, so every parent should know all premature infants should have an exam by an eye specialist before leaving the hospital. During that exam, one of the things that we look for is something called a red reflex. You might have seen what a red reflex looks like when taking a picture with a camera. If you don't see a red reflex, then there's a number of visual impairments that can be caused by that. So they would hopefully have a referral rate there at birth. Most importantly, Dr. Sine says a parent should be sure to take their child to follow-up appointments and learn to advocate for their child. If the parents are concerned about their child's um, vision, they need to bring that up to the pediatrician and say, hey, you know, like, when should my child be able to see me come into the room? Should my child be able to, to follow me across the room and go both ways? Gloria's parents are very involved and make sure she gets the services she needs. These days, Gloria is a creative and curious kindergartner. In addition to composing and performing her own songs like Jelly Bean Jungle, Yay! she is reading Braille and learning to use a Perkins Brailler. Chris tells us Gloria is a candidate to get a retinal chip 
a new procedure that may improve her vision. It, it sits on the retina and, and like stimulates it. So eventually, hopefully, she'll, she'll get that sight. There's not, not any chance that she'll get 100% sight, but there's always, there's always a chance, you know. Um, it's a 50-50, so it's, it's kind of a, it's in the testing phases right now with the adults. As soon as it passes, she will be the first, the first candidate to have that. In the meantime, Gloria doesn't let anything stop her. She is thriving as she grows and learns about the world around her. And her parents are right there with her. I want to keep her going and going and, and to have the confidence to, to be whatever she wants to be. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Brought to you through the regional support of First Five Fresno County. First Five Tulare County and First Five Madera County. Because it's all about the kids.